coincident lines. And the way that I'd remember this word is, oh, wow, those lines are the same. What are the chances of that? Is that just a coincidence? And then maybe, I don't know if that would. So they're parallel and have an infinite number of common points. So we saw with our first example that parallel gave us an answer that made us feel uncomfortable, like negative 4 equals negative 5. This is going to give us also something that makes us feel uncomfortable. We're trying to solve for s, and we get something like 15 is equal to 15. Well, that's true, but it doesn't help me solve for s or t. So again, things are going to cancel out, but you're going to get a statement that's always true. And if something's always true, then those two lines will be the same. So here's our example. x equals 1 plus 3t and y is equal to 2 plus 2t, and x is equal to 7 plus 6s, and y is equal to 6 plus 4s. And we set up our two equations. And any time you're wanting to find where two lines intersect, you always set up your system of equations. This is exact same start like same directions as our first example. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to multiply the first one by a 2 and the second one by a negative 3 because I plan to cancel the s's out. 2 plus 6t equals 14t. Plus 12s. And negative 6 plus negative 6t equals negative 18 minus 12s, add them up, negative 4 plus 0 equals negative 4 plus, ooh, negative 4 is equal to negative 4. So because it always works, we know that these are coincident. 